what does it feel like to be a, uh, or what does it take to be a woman CEO of a meat company? I mean, you're no longer CEO of Belcampo, but you did, you ran, you co-founded Belcampo, you ran it for many, many years. What, what, is there something that you could say uh, in terms of challenges associated with that? And uh, how did you personally overcome it? So to be a female running a meat and livestock operation, it felt very alone a lot, you know, for a long time. Um, I felt very, uh, like everybody waiting for me to fail yeah. or watching and assuming that I was like just good at marketing or <laughs> whatever else. And and um, so it, it's taken me a while to not internalize that. Mm. I think the only reason I've, I'm here is we have our own supply chain in Slaughterhouse. And I think had I really been playing in the broader meat industry, it would have been a shorter journey. You know, it would have been very hard to make it even get to this phase. Um, but I do, you know, I think the mission is my life's work. The mission of cleaner ingredients that taste so amazing, you don't need to do too much to them. You know, I, I like creating food that's in support of good health. Yeah. And then secondary to that, it's the environment. But I like, I want healthy food to be a joy to eat, right? And um, that that's, you know, creating innovation in the space for this company has been about building a brand that people understand and is transparent mm -hmm. and that people believe in in an industry that's broadly perceived as pretty corrupt. So those are things I feel enormously proud of. Um, so you focused on the mission and the 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 pushback, all the mess the of the industry. Uh, you try not to internalize it, try not to let it affect you, and focus on the mission. Hard. You know, I'm, I, and it's in the joy of it, and the part where it's gotten fun for me has been returning to what I love about it. Mm -hmm. And I've only had the privilege of doing that pretty recently. Um, so I think. For me personally, you know, starting, I, I host just these events on the farm called meat camps mm -hmm. where I cook and teach people to cook and, and, you know, taste and talk about flavor and all yeah. the like sensual aspects of it yeah. that I, that are my fire. Yeah. Like, thank goodness I did that stuff because otherwise it was just such a beating, yeah. you know, so there were parts of it where I got to feed my fire. Um, and then now in the, you know, the past year since resigning, I've been, I do all the recipe development. I shoot all the content. I, you know, taste product. I'm developing all of our new products. I launched our meatballs. I'm just about to launch our chicken meatballs, I'm doing a high protein bone broth. Like those are, that's what, why I did this was to be able to build this great product that I could build on. Mm -hmm. So I'm kind of at that place now, um, but it's taken a lot longer. And I think, you know, looking at the landscape of what to do in food, this is definitely we tackled the most complicated problem well, so that you I can just... imagine. You know, I did it with like in the most old fashioned way. Yeah. Right. So it's been yeah. super complex. And then I also look at it and I'm like, yeah, and it's been messy and it's going to continue to be hard, but I'm proud of having tackled the hard problems. So, so the hard problem here is not in the space of technologies. It's in the space of bringing uh, something that we've done for a long, long time in our human history and uh, scaling it in the face of all the other economic pressures, like doing so successfully, also communicating to the rest of the world that this is a powerful solution. So inspiring the rest of the world that regenerative farming, like running a company in this kind of way that's humane for animals, good for the land, good for people, even if it costs, like if there's an increased cost to the meat, uh, even if that, if you have a broader vision, that means eating less meat overall, that that is, that is like inspiring the world that this is a future we want and just taking that on and getting that done. 